African man entering in their restaurant and they are calling him is a foreigner is not supposed to enter that restaurant while they are the ones that are in the foreign land my name is peter shakes cabra fever the slim giant this man mc or you can call me washim pundu i've come here very upset like i'm really upset if you've not subscribed to my youtube channel you can hit the red button switch on the notification button so that every time i post a new video you'll be notified that washim pundu has posted a new video chinese that are making money in our country and they want to make our lives in zambia hard but then thank god that the lusaka me and the lusaka city council came through and closed that restaurant that is calling a black man a zambian man entering in their restaurant and they are calling him is a foreigner is not supposed to enter that restaurant wow they are the ones that are in the foreign land zambia and on the other hand this zambian man he has a wife who happens to be a chinese can you imagine that well i'm gonna show you the video later but then i just want to um show you what the zambians have reacted to after watching the video and after the mayor mao sampa the lusaka mayor uh, uh the action that he took of closing the restaurant he might as well even be deporting these people oh god let me just read what the mayor said and then show you the video of what happened what these chinese people are doing we are zambians this is our land it's not their land just read um, what uh, uh, the Lusaka uh, City Council, the mayor, uh, said. Lusaka, the report on, 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 on social media, of course. Um, Lusaka mayor shuts down Chinese restaurant discriminating against Zambians. This morning, together with the Lusaka City Council Director Health, uh, Director of Health, Edgar Mulwanda, we closed indefinitely the Chinese luncheon restaurant in Longacres. This is because they abrogated laws under the Food and Health um, Act, namely spelling or rather selling products labeled in Chinese and not English as prescribed by the law. So these people are in Zambia and not in China. They are told by the law to say you're supposed to sell products that are labeled in english and not in chinese but then they go ahead to uh, sell their products that are labeled in chinese when they are in zambia they have the audacity to do that this one says the second one trading without a license from lusaka city council now they're in zambia but then they even doing illegal things is that not too much freedom for them too much freedom when actually you, you, you can be in China on land or do business that is illegal, they can't allow to do that. And they are here in Zambia doing such things. So the council says, we are moving in all restaurants and other hospitality services, especially of Chinese that are conducting business without uh, proper documentation or in an authentic manner. Luncheon restaurant was reported by Movie TV yesterday for only allowing entrance to Chinese and denying blacks for apparently COVID related reasons. They are denying blacks a Zambian because of COVID related reasons when actually COVID 19 came from China. Look at that nonsense. This is not the Zambia we 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 built after uh, independence. No, I mean apartheid ended long time ago. Why should these people start bringing it back? I don't understand. So the the the, the council says we strongly reprimanded the owner, a Mr. Tang, 
on that malpractice as well. Apartheid finished a long time ago in Lusaka after Zambia gained independence. We urge all residents of Lusaka to whistle blow on any business or trading place exhibiting unethical practices. We shall move in decisively with supersonic speed. And now I just want to read what Zambians or how Zambians have reacted after the mayor closed the restaurant. Of course, they have reacted positively and I'm in full support. And they should close that restaurant forever. They shouldn't let them trade. They should actually deport them back to China, not let them stay in Zambia. This is our country. It's not a Chinese land or Chinese country. No, this is our Zambia and it belongs to Zambians and not Chinese. That's just it. They, they, they have pissed me. This one says, thank you, Mr. Mayor. How can one be a foreigner in their own land? Dig out more of them if you can. Via Sana, no blacks because of COVID-19, yet they brought it. That's being silly. Of course, it's being silly. COVID-19 didn't come from Zambia or Africa. It came from China. This one says, good move, but you will find that tomorrow is working. That they have cleared, go and do that in other countries. You will face the law, either jailed or pay big fine for breaking the law. Of course, at times, if you are dealing with a corrupt leader, you might find out they go back to work tomorrow. But then, on this one, Lusaka mayor, our able mayor, make sure these people are deported. Are deported. Make sure. This one says, this is so motivating by mayor. These Chinese people think that Zambia is the country, is their country as well. Please deport them as soon as possible. Very useless creatures of course people are upset we are upset and i'm upset as well this one says great job mr mayor i remember some months ago i saw a very similar story in nigeria and the authorities in that country went as far as deporting the restaurant owners for good deport them even us we want the government to deport these people is new police should be to deport those discriminating against the locals no mercy let them pack and leave if they don't want to see black people all right and this one says a walker move please Ramea, can you kindly defect <laughs> crazy to you pnd we are near 2021 elections Okay, this one says, job well done. Now, let them go back to their country where they came from and not in Zambia. This one says, I felt bad after watching that video. This is the perfect move ever. Let's live freely. This is our land. If not your land, behave and stay in your land. Let peace reign in Zambia. This one says, good and quick response, Mayor Sabba. If we are not free in our own country, where will we live? This one says, you created this monster. Says, you created this monster. You treat the Chinese like they are the sunshines from there. And they know it. Just one phone call from their ambassador to someone who is humble. And that restaurant is open. What a waste of time. Excellent job, your worship. However, please advise management of the restaurant to quickly legalize the firm so we don't want to lose income as a country. Let them follow rules. This one says, it says, good move, but you find that tomorrow it is working that they have given back the restaurant so that they can continue trading so it's really sad that in our own land we can have a chinese national calling a zambian to be a foreigner what audacity is that so well let me show you the video of 
what happened, the clip of what happened at the restaurant where a Zambian who is married or who married a Chinese national, but when he went in a Chinese restaurant, he was told you are a foreigner and you can't enter. Imagine in your own land being called a foreigner by a foreigner. Sit back, relax. Let me show you that clip. A Zambian national who has chosen to remain anonymous. The man was on Saturday turned away from a Chinese restaurant and shop called Lankins in Lusaka's Long Acres for being black and a foreigner in his own country. The man was in the company of his Chinese wife and now explains. These two other guys were in front of us. They went in, these uh, Chinese nationals, they went in. So when my wife and I were going in, there was this lady behind the counter. She was uh, shouting something, she was yelling something. So for me, I, was, I, I just looked at her, but then I couldn't understand. So I walked in again. Then she repeated the same phrase, the same phrase. So at this time, I looked at my wife because she was looking in my direction. So I looked at my wife. My wife had stopped moving. So I asked her, what is she saying? So the lady said, foreigners are not allowed in this shop. So I thought to myself, in my mind, I was like, oh, how, how does she know my wife is, you know, not from Zambia? Then my wife said, oh, she means you are not allowed in the shop. That's when I was confused. Foreigner. I am the foreigner in this situation. So she said, uh, then uh, my wife asked the lady, what do you mean? She said, oh, no, the Chinese can come inside. You have to wait outside. You can't come inside. The wife of the Zambian national has described the actions taken by the Chinese nationals against her husband as ridiculous. I don't think Chinese, I mean like, racism is everywhere. But then, like in this situation, it's just a little bit unusual, you know. How can you ask, uh, how do I put it, how, how can you say that foreigner cannot come in when they are in a foreign country? It's ridiculous. I mean, like, they are not supposed to behave like that. I asked the couple to accompany me to the said restaurant and shop so that I can independently verify the allegations leveraged against the Chinese business firm. In the shop, there was only one female Chinese national at the counter and busy on her phone. We proceeded in the shop. And when going out, I asked the Chinese lady, with the help of the Zambian national's wife for translation, if I could see the owners of the shop so that I can find out about the allegations leveled against them. But the lady outrightly refused. When she refused, I asked her whether it's true or not that they turn away blacks in their shop. In her response, the Chinese national explained that this decision has been arrived at in view of the coronavirus but denied turning away any black person a contradiction. <laughs> Okay, so basically she said that normally they allow the uh, Zambian, they will come here, they will like, they, normally they are like the driver of the Chinese Chinese national. So the Chinese national will come and buy stuff, the uh, Zambian driver will be waiting outside, then they will be like carrying the stuff from here to the car, not to go inside. But if you say those who are like, they insist to go in, they will still allow. Mm. So the Zambian drivers, the black ones, they wait from here? Yes. Then yeah. the, the Chinese, they go inside, they, go inside, ah. they buy, then they get the stuff from here. Mm. So when you came here, they thought he's also a driver for you? Is, 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 is that what they thought? But the one, the one yesterday is not this one. Simply put, the Chinese are saying blacks transmit the coronavirus. How painful can that be? That's simply an insult. Well. Let's assume that what this lady is saying is true, that they don't discriminate against the blacks, their actions speak to the contrary. For example, everything here is written in Chinese except for phone numbers and names of Zambia and China. This is happening in Zambia. What about if it is China itself? I traveled to Guangzhou some time back, maybe some eight, nine years ago, and on arrival at Guangzhou airport, um, my passport was seized on the basis that it was uh, a fake passport. I was told I was a West African, although the party I traveled with were all Zambians. 
So I was detained at the airport overnight. Um, no explanation, just told you are going back. It's becoming more prevalent here. It's not even that side. And we are looking at ways the political will to protect us in our own country. That can happen out there, but we do not expect it to start happening here and politicians are sitting idly by. Is Zambia slowly turning into a Chinese colony? Has Zambia been secretly sold to the Chinese while citizens were still asleep? Could it be that our leaders know something about the Zambia-China dealings which we don't know? Can a Zambian behave like this in China? Hmm, this is quite strange and strange indeed. Kalan Muchima reporting for Movie TV News in Osaka.